how do you explain this huge divergence between the measures of belief and measures of religious participation? Uh, how do you explain it when you're saying that, when you, you know, you also state that you don't think uh, religion is declining over time? No, that's a great question. Um, first of all, let me say that the divergence you point to um, is significant. I'm not sure I'd agree that it's huge, but you're right that it's there. Let me summarize what it is. First of all, it's not just about a divergence between religious participation and religious belief. It's also, importantly, about a divergence between measures of religious participation, on the one hand, and religious belief and the importance attached to religion on the other. So if you ask, take the question that's asked in the World Value Survey, which is the only comparable cross-country survey that has asked these questions over more than 30 years, um, what you see is that the um, across um, all of the countries that I've been able to get these comparable data for, which I report in the book, the um, measures of how important is religion in your life remain essentially unchanged over that period. Um, what uh, and and similarly, the proportion of the population believing in God remains essentially unchanged, in fact, very slightly, but not in a way that's statistically significant. What does decline is the proportion of people reporting that they've attended a religious service in the last month. And it doesn't decline by an enormous amount, uh, but it does. And so the question is, what does that tell you? And I think you're suggesting an interpretation according to which People claim religion is important, but if they can't be bothered to go to uh, a mosque or a temple or church, then they can't be serious. I disagree. I think part of what's happening is that people are doing more mixing and matching in their religious lives. You see this very clearly where um, the phenomenon has been much more exhaustively explored, for example, in the United States, where there's uh, indeed a decline in the proportion of people who are members of a particular religious, in this case, mostly Christian community, but um, a big increase in people saying that they're spiritual or that they, um, that they, um, they think it's very important to engage in spiritual observance. And these are often people who will be, they may be joining online communities, they may be um, doing meditation, they may be doing a range of different things which don't necessarily involve going to the same religious community on a regular basis. So I guess I would say that um, the, I mean, you know, similarly, if you ask, for example, are people less interested in movies than they used to be? Well, people are going less to movie theaters, but they're doing an awful lot of watching um, streaming and watching at home and watching with their friends and so on. And, I think something rather similar is true of religiosity in many countries, which is that um, peop the monopoly of the religious building holding a service in a locality, in a village or a town or a city, um, which people felt they had to go to as part of their uh, commitment to their religious community, that hold of that, um, in a sense, monopoly supplier of the, um, of the religious activity to the community has been weakened. That's absolutely clear. But I don't think that means that people aren't serious about their religion, that they're important to them, or that they're in any way being insincere when they say they believe in God and that their belief in God makes a difference to their lives. But sorry, could I just add one thing? It's really yeah. important to understand there's a huge amount of variety in this. So there are lots of countries where pe religion is clearly declining in importance in people. Uh, it is true in the United States that religion is declining in importance because despite the fact that many more people say they're privately spiritual, there's also just a big increase in the proportion of Americans who um, don't see a need for religion at all. So it's true in the US, okay? 
And it's true in other countries, I can tell you. It's been true in Spain, it's been true in Ireland, it's been true in Chile. Um, I think it's uh, becoming truer and truer in Iran, though uh, uh, it's very difficult to get. I mean, the the data coming out of Iran are very unreliable, um, but and, and so you know we can't be absolutely sure. But I think um, it's plausible to say that religion is much less important in people's lives in Iran now than it was 30 years ago, even though many people don't dare to say so. So yes, there are countries in which it's true. Also, many countries in which religion is more important, and that includes many of the countries in the former Soviet Union, particularly all of the uh, Christian Orthodox churches in, um, in uh, well, it was true in Russia. I don't know well how long this will survive. The Russian Orthodox Church's shameful uh, support of the invasion of Ukraine, but um, in many countries there was a huge increase in religiosity after the decline of the communist bloc, so Poland, think of Belarus, think of uh, Ukraine, think of countries like uh, Romania, Bulgaria, and so on. All of these are countries that saw a very big increase in religiosity. So there's a huge variety, but what you can't do, I think, is say that uh, there's a downward trend in the world as a 